but I really didn't get a chance to read it and really consume it. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'm going to go through it. So Richard tweets, Richard means hard ruler. Heart means passionate. Win means dedicated. I don't give up. I win. Yes. That's what I'm talking. That's the stuff I've been saying. That's the stuff I do. It's January, 2023. Everyone's down. Pulse ain't launch. Everyone's mad. Bear market. So sad. I'm doing Richard Hart AMAs. And I'm telling people this stuff. I'm like, this dude does not lose. He's not, he's not a loser. He's a winner. It's in his username. It's in what he does. He's done it his entire life. He wins. This guy wins. No matter the odds, no matter people stacked against him, this dude wins. Okay. So every time some, somebody says, oh, we well, settle, or I think you'll settle, or or you know, take the fine or whatever. I know that's a possibility. And I know that, you know, if, if Richard saw no, no other way to do it you know, maybe he considers it, but I think he, he wants to take this thing head on. I think he wants to win and set a president for crypto. Again, he, his whole mission isn't to just, not just, you know, to make people millionaires from all the products and stuff like this um, in the form of this, them just being so awesome that the market just wills it to happen. They don't have to do anything with him. The market will will it to happen after they see the, the, you know, the, uh, the amazing tokenomics game theory and community and all that stuff. But and again, winning can mean many different things. Winning can mean, you know, he settles, but nothing changes and everything's good. And, you know, off the moon, it could mean, you know, a lot of different things. It could mean he just literally completely defeats the SEC and we're, we're good. A lot of different things. But this dude wins. And that's why that's why I'm on team win, man. That's why I'm on team win. You watch the dead bodies of those who thought they were smart float down the river. Sinsky, SBF, Doquan, Suzu, they're all in jail now. And what do they have in common? I spoke out against all of them publicly and they didn't like me. Oh, and they took people's money in a common pool with the expectation of profit, critically from their entrepreneur and managerial effort. The opposite of why crypto was invented, of course. I've been begging. I'm still begging you to hold your own keys and save you. Don't pick up pennies in front of freight trains. Not your keys, not your coins. I raised $27 million for medical research charity. I called the crypto top accurately for free. I called the watch price top accurately for free as well. Uh, as well, I'm just adding there. I produce self-help books for free. I produce free self-help content for free. I fight you for your rights in countries I don't even live in for free. Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, we're giving away thousands for free. You could say, I'm into freedom. Now ask yourself, of those that speak ill of me, what are their accomplishments compared to mine? How are they spending their time now? Are they fighting for your rights? Are they educating you? Do they give it away all for free? Where's their free self-help books? Where's their millions raised for charity? Where's their free and open source software? Satoshi abandoned Bitcoin after just two years of calling it or of having a price. Millions of Bitcoin users were savage because it's crippleware. They didn't have, to, uh, they didn't have real DeFi <laughs> to try and earn yield or trade or nearly anything else you can do with Ethereum or Pulse Chain that you can't do on BTC. So they put their money in the coffers of evil men centralizing entities that were the opposite of why crypto was invented. And it wasn't just BTC Maximus that caused the horror. It was regulatory capture as well, where the incumbents are protected by the rules that not only can't be followed, but which are purposely never, are purposely are never created, so you might never follow them. The crippleware enthusiasts and the regulators are responsible for billions of dollars lost to centralized entities crypto was invented to destroy. Does only a few centralized exchanges left seem like a free and open market? And who is crippling the market? The regulators. Who is benefiting from all the centralization? Just a few entities. The scammers and the incumbents. Who lost? You and those that didn't listen to me lost far, far more. By the way, what if Bitcoin? What if Bitcoin was going down in part because people were selling spot to buy discounted grayscale shares? The discount to NAV is now less than half it was months ago. Another example of centralization at work. Imagine how happier the BCC price environment would be if mining didn't require so much money to be handed to the power company and had a, and a, had a couple of chip manufacturers. Pulse Chain solves this. What should you be focused on now? Writing relevant comments, proposed rules, robustness from attack, privacy, being ready for the end of the bear market. We are better than those that attack us in our error words and error works. We will win. Excellently said. Excellently said. Uh, great to uh, all in podcast. I think I retweeted that as well on regulatory capture uh, by Bill Gurley. Fantastic. If you want to learn more about that, very entertaining too. Just uh, search 
YouTuber uh, for Bill Gurley All In uh, Summit, or uh, check out my Twitter. But very interesting too. People talked about this. Um, what if people were selling spot to buy discounted grade scrap shares? So there's still a discount. Still is uh, 16, 15, 16% discount on uh, GPTC yesterday. So it sounds like, I mean, you could read into this a little bit, being ready for the end of the bear market. You could say uh, he's, he may be hinting around a little bit that he thinks it's either done, close, and uh, maybe no more go up in a bit, or at least have the opportunity to. So very cool. Wanted to go through that. Love his words. Love to hear him speak this way again and love to, uh, oh, it's invigorating. It's beautiful. Beautifully said. Shout out to Richard, man. You're awesome.